going on guys i'm gonna do a boat review here on the on the old triton there it's a 2002 triton tr20 single axle trailer like the great to dual axle trailer at a later point uh it's powered by a yamaha v max ox 66 225 horsepower it's attached to a tnh marine z-lock jack plate <clears throat> got it set up with the uh, two Lowrance. Got an HDS9 mapping unit here. My cover flew off going down the highway. So I wanted to get that replaced. And I've got it linked through a uh, Ethernet cable there to the HDS7. So that allows me to do my side scan, my down scan, my sonar all off the 7. Works out pretty good. On the front here, we got an HDS5. Later on, I'm gonna upgrade to hopefully another HDS9 and I'll link them together. Uh, got a motor guide, trolling motor there. Recessed foot pedal. Pretty easy on my back. <clears throat> Last boat didn't have that. So that really helps out a lot. Climbing up inside. Got our battery compartment there, oil tank, charger, all that good stuff. Pretty much keep this compartment empty for anybody who fishes with me. Right now it's got the, uh, it's got my girlfriend's life jacket in there. Got a rope. Here's my compartment. Got my life jacket, rain suit, face mask couple snacks and then uh we got some uh phone charger stuff inside the box there along with my boat registration all that good stuff moving on down so it rained today had the boat cover on and i've got to leak my boat cover so gotta figure that out there's the cooler couple drinks in there compartment here I keep my net in there my paddle my light so uh, extra extra life jacket some of the safety stuff fire extinguisher throw cushion jumper cables better keep you some jumper cables a little tool kit below it Clean supply, brush for mud on the carpet. And definitely, definitely keep some toilet paper in your boat and a dude wipe. If you don't have toilet paper in your boat, that is a, uh, it's a sad mistake. Keep my marker buoys there, sunscreen, another rope right there, tying it to the dock. Keep my rods in there, took the rod tubes out, um, put all my rods on uh, rod socks. Could fit more rods in there easily. They slide in and out pretty good. Uh, Use Dixie Custom Rods and some, I got a couple Dobbins uh, Fury Series of rods in there. So. Here's where I keep my tackle. As you can see, um, I keep my compartments, I keep them, uh, all my boxes going this way, instead of like they're supposed to. Uh, I could fit more, I could fit more boxes in there. Open it up a little bit over here where I can keep my JJ's Magic, spinnerbait box, stuff like that. Um, pretty much holds everything that I need right there. And uh, here's where I keep all my soft plastics. I got a little rod in there, that way I can keep my box and stuff in there. And uh, it's a pretty neat little system right here. Keep all my Simcos stuff in there organized by color. Um, I really like.
like this and uh, so I'm gonna kind of continue to use this use it on this way um, but I'm gonna go away from using these big boxes right here um, I'm gonna try to start keeping everything in those compartments in the original bags it's just starting to work the boxes and and stuff um, so I'm gonna go away from that plus I could probably fit more stuff in there more other stuff and uh, but uh, anyway that's the uh, that's the boat tour and uh, hope you liked the video if you do give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you guys want to see any other kind of videos just let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll try to get them uploaded thanks for watching have a great day